the top two are more or less running away and they just left the field to, uh, to, to battle it out. I saw Fraser Hack, he had an, an okay first part of the start and was trying to draw himself level with uh, those uh, the front row of the 7S class. Um, but it's clearly all gone, when I say all gone wrong, there's been a small mistake, maybe outbroke himself somewhere, just trying to uh, maintain that top three and then from there he's fallen back into the clutches of the, uh, of the field behind the 7S class. It was an okay start, I would say, from our horses to Joe Thompson and uh, Rosberg to try to match it, but it uh, involves David Harrington, and he's got a light start, 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 he's got a um, I can't see exactly where uh, they've gone missing, however I can see a green flag at turn one and a green flag in front of us, so potentially a yellow flag coming out of the final corner. We have a look on the cameras and can't we see anything from our position? No. Um, looking down the pitch straight, I still can't see anything on that camera. The green flag First two sevens then coming through quorum at the moment. And the, the slightly higher entry speed was Spencer Wanstall. He managed to hold on to third place at four now. I think it was a rather smoky James May as he came over the line. Uh, but whether that was just he was on the rev limiter or at the very top of the rev range, whatever it was. Um, it seems like it's decided, but definitely something to watch because he was in a good little battle. Um, Billison, much bigger in a straight line. If anything, have they swapped around? Yes, they have. Ross Billison into the lead of the race. Joe Johnson now's up there in second place. Where that happened, I don't know. Jamie Payne, so whatever's gone on, Jamie uh, Payne, he's got this well, but he'll race three days. Great leader, Ross Billison. Where he did that, not exactly sure, but now under pressure from Joe. Jack was saying, now the rest has been led by David Harrington up into third place with his personal best lap of the race last time around. Step to Benson and one score back to fourth place. They down and 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 down Thank you. 
bike clearly not all is well, but the race leaders absolutely together. Have they swapped around this time? I would say they have. But whatever happens over that side of the circuit up towards uh, Brundle and Nelson through the bomb hole and into the bomb when they reappear uh, with us. That's where they do the old thing. When it's the old thing, the best thing is not the Closing up once again. It's going to be like one of those uh, slow bicycle races where the place you don't want to be on the last lap is in the lead. Yeah. They're heading down the Bentley straight. Billison is going to have another go. He's on the inside as well on the run up towards Brundle and Nelson. I think they'll reappear in a, in a different order. But with all of that going on, as you say, Damien Harrington, well and truly there, he wants to try and uh, not only get second, but I think go for a late move for the lead. They're side by side on the edge. Joe Thompson is on the inside of the and the outside on the road towards the bottom hole. So Joe Thompson on the third line. In tow. So we've got um, Joe Thompson on the inside, Ross Billison on to wait, but not uh, to show your hand too early, do it on the last lap rather than on this one, provided they've got a good countdown to the end of the race. We should have one more lap to go after this one. Billison though pulls up alongside Thompson as they head down the straight. I think Billison has actually got the ponies to get past in a straight line because the three of them heading towards the left after a brundle absolutely together and almost three abreast as they turn into brundle. We're looking on the CCTV pictures to see who comes out of Nelson, the right hand section in the front. Damien Harrington, then, for my money, has got himself into the lead with what, 30 seconds left on the clock as they come through. They'll be dominant the last lap this time and bring the two to the outside, side by side across the line, opposite them. Thompson thinks about driving between the pair of them again, but it's going to be defensive. Goes across to the right, stop Thompson coming up the inside, trying to go around the outside of the gym. And it's still Billison from Thompson, from Harrington, back up towards Williams. And well, now it's all down to who gets the best, uh, the best run off the straight. So, as they disappear behind Cyril's once again, are they going to all appear at the same time? Yes, kind of, for the back. Because it is Billison who is in the lead of the race, but Thompson and Harrington are closing, closing, closing. I think they're going to be side by side again. Yeah, very likely. And uh, behind there, Darren Thompson's got the better of Spencer Wonstall as well. So, uh, Darren Thomas up into fourth place, Spencer Wonstall back to fifth again after his travails earlier on. Unless Billison can do something at Murray's on this last lap, I don't think he's going to be quite close enough to throw his mini up into uh, that position. So it's going to be Joe Thompson, I reckon, as they come out of Murray's on the start of his race. The check is back, he's doing away. He's still leading for Joe Thompson, then Ross Billison takes second. Damien Harrington third. It's more space than Darren Thompson.